Hello everyone, welcome back to the classroom. So today the topic of the classroom is supply chain management. What is supply chain management? See, this is a part of again our day to day lives. If I talk about any person who is studying this subject or you are doing any activity like you are driving your car or you are studying this subject, you need to look after each and every activity which is going on. If you are driving your car, you need to look after the traffic which is going on. You need to look after your own car. You need to have your focus upon acceleration, brake, proper appropriate gears, right? And just like that, just like that, if I'm, uh, if we are talking about this classroom, this subject, we need to pay attention towards each and every topic. We need to cover each and every topic. So that is all about supply chain management. Because if I talk about any organization, so that particular organization needs to look after all the activities which are going on over there, let it be like they are outsourcing something, they are converting something, that means they are converting their work in progress into finished goods, they have their inventories, how to procure, how to stock their inventories, and after that, all about the transportation, that means the logistic management activities. So it's all about if we have better coordination between these things, then only a proper satisfaction from the customer can be achieved. See how the things are going to work. If I talk about that we are going to purchase, let us say, raw materials. So purchasing those raw materials from a particular supplier, you need to have proper coordination from the raw materials so that only you will be getting the raw materials on time. If you get the raw materials on time, then after that, the machinery department, or you can say the collaboration with the proper people, uh, the, with the partners or the employees should be proper so that you can convert them into finished goods on time. If I talk about the finished goods on time, then after that, you can deliver it to your customers. Okay, delivering those finished goods to your customers or taking raw material from your go down to your factory. So that requires certain kind of logistics or the transportation that also needs to be good to deliver your services on time. So it's, it's all about purchasing your raw material, transportation, proper distributing your finished goods, let it be it, uh, to your uh, distributors or else after that let it be uh, this to your uh, direct customers just like we have a company being like named as country delight who is over there uh, slowly and gradually coming up as a competitor towards mother dairy and uh, amul right so what they are doing they are not involving any kind of middlemen they are saying that we are going to deliver it straight away to your home Right. So just like that, and maybe if I talk about some other companies which are very huge, just like ITC, they have certain wholesalers, then they have intermediaries, middlemen are involved. So apart from that, so a particular organization needs to look after each and everything. They need to look after each and every activity so that they can deliver the good product to the customer and the customer gets satisfied. If your customer is not satisfied, believe me, he or she will not come back to you. Okay. Now the next is. Uh, let us mark few things over here. Planning and management of activities involved in sourcing the procurement, conversion and logistic management activities. It's all about coordination and collaboration. See, if I talk about Maruti, so Maruti is not manufacturing anything. What Maruti people are doing, they are just giving their material to the third people, uh, to, to some third parties and they are manufacturing the products. And after that, Maruti is finally, what they are doing, they are just assembling the products and they are making a car. Okay. Right? So they are making a car. It is like that. Understood, sir. Understood. Moving ahead, talking about the next part. So that at that point of time, uh, that Maruti needs to ensure that whatever the, uh, you can say the parts or the equipment which are given to third parties, that is delivered back to the Maruti on time. That is delivered back to Maruti on time. If that is not delivered back to Maruti on time, Maruti won't be able to deliver the products as per the commitment to the concerned people who may have given advances or not. Now, this is all about supply chain management. See, information and technology is involved because we are going to manage the supply of goods across the various channels or services. Let it be that you need certain kind of services in your organization that needs to be managed properly. Apart from that, material handling and warehousing, if you have purchased raw material, then after that you are going to shift that raw material. You are not going to hold that raw material into any, uh, on any road or something like that. Definitely you are going to have a warehouse where you are going to, I mean, hold your inventory for a particular time period. And after that, freight and transportation, definitely if I talk about a goods, which may be raw material, which may be, I mean, your finished goods, which needs to be delivered to a specific point of time, the company needs particular freight and transportation. 
and apart from that and the support services which are playing a very important role these days because a customer is going to buy your product only if you are going to provide good support services or you can say uh, this is also being termed as after sales services if I'm looking forward to buy an AC these days so what is going to happen they are going to offer me an AC after that they are going to give me warranty so and nobody if I talk about my car itself that comes with a standard warranty of five years right and anything anything if I, if, I talk, if I talk about my bike itself, that also comes with a standard warranty of like five years. So the, uh, reason, uh, the things are like that. The customers, they are much eager towards that which company is providing better after sales services. That also plays a very important role. So, sir, what is this supply chain management? Supply chain management is all about paying attention and planning all the activities prop with proper coordination, with proper collaboration so that so that you can have an efficient demand and supply system it should not be like so uh, let us say if i have booked like uh, let us say that i have given my advance in order to book in bmw let us think of something big let us think of something big. right i want to buy a bmw i have given them an advance of like 50, uh, 20 lakh rupees and i told them that i need my car and rest of the amount has been financed and they told me that yes okay we are going to deliver your car back to you in big like next two months Two months is the waiting time period and within the next two months if they have to deliver the car they i mean they should deliver the car then for that if they uh, i mean uh, the delivery time that should be on time for the customer itself if that's not customer is not satisfied then he or she is going to sue you believe me because uh if customer is not satisfied not the comp the growth of an organization is going to that is something which you guys know that we do very well. Moving on to the next topic, my dear students. Now, talk, talking about this topic, uh, I mean, uh, this is something which you can read. I have already explained these parts that raw materials are purchased from, and after that, they are shipped towards the various, uh, to your various raw houses, and after that, you are going to I mean, convert them into the finished goods if you are manufacturing something, or a part if you are just into training, then after that, you are going to straight away ship them, or you can say transport them to your retailers or customers right apart from that so now moving ahead so over overhead if i talk about the typical system the um, prime of ac the uh, focus was on logistics network because every time the things were connected if i talk about somebody's only trading then the logistic plays a very important role delivering the goods on time right getting the proper supplier support having your proper distribution channels and having proper retail outlet now if i talk about a single definition what is supply chain management that is is a set of approaches utilized to efficiency integrate suppliers manufacturers warehouses stores so that so that merchandise is produced and distributed at the right quantities at the right locations at the right time so that your cost and the satisfying service level requirements see uh, another and a very simple example, uh, 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 sorry, example is Domino's. They told you that yes, we are going to deliver your pizza in 30 minutes. They have to, their supply chain management needs to be that much efficient that they have to deliver the pizza in 30 minutes. Other, otherwise, it is going to be free. Right? So, for, in order to deliver that pizza in 30 minutes, the supply chain management needs to be good. Getting the proper raw material. If they don't have the raw material, what is, the, I mean, what they are going to bake then? Right. After that, if they don't have the proper logistic system, if they have taken a lot of time in order to bake their pizza, how and their logistic system, the, boys, uh, the delivery boys are not over there, then in that situation, my dear student, it is going to create a problem and the company may or the organization may suffer losses. Moving ahead, the, what is the objective? What is the purpose of having this supply chain management? See, first of all, you need to have a proper control over each and every department let it be like purchasing raw materials because if your raw material is going to be costly then in that situation my dear students we are going to face problems again if your logistic department is not efficient then also because each and every department each and every activity each and every you can say facility that is going to impact cost that is going to play some kind of important role towards the customer requirement so supply chain management focuses upon each and every activity let it be if that is a minute or a major activity we are going to focus upon each and everything 
okay so what they are going to look after they are going to look after to be efficient and cost effective across the entire system okay they just want that yes if i talk about our distribution system if i talk about my transportation system everything should be cost efficient and the work in progress or if i talk about the finished goods so what uh, if i talk about that uh, let us take an example of the inventories if we have proper inventories or if we have extra inventories then there is no uh, no use of such inventories right and you need to have proper reorder level that is something which you guys know about really very well you must have covered that in your OMSMs. reorder level what is going to be my optimum inventory how much backup inventory i need to have so supply chain management particularly focuses upon each and every activity they just want that each and every activity should be properly cost effective because if your each and every activity is going to be cost effective the entirely entirely the organization is going to have good profits okay moving ahead now if i talk about supply chain management it's all about integration between various departments or you can say the people who are going to supply raw materials the people who are going to uh, have uh, your uh, the people who are going to be your manufacturers the people uh, i mean if i talk about the warehouses so there should be a proper collaboration and coordination between each and everybody supply chain management revolves around effective integration of suppliers manufacturers warehouses and stores so that if I talk about the firm activities at various levels, that is going to vary, right? And we need to control each and every part accordingly. Moving ahead, my dear student, what are the various components which are involved into your supply chain management? Okay, sir, one question which I have in my mind now. Yes, please. Do we need to memorize these things? Yes, because there can be a question which is which can be theoretical if I talk about these parts. I mean, these are basic things and a question can be from these parts. Five basic components of supply, plain, uh, supply chain management because if I talk about anything, if I talk about anything, if I talk about your studies or let it be like your business organization or let it be like your, you're going on a date, then everybody needs to plan. Everybody needs to plan. So this is all about that how you are going to just like we have a timetable that just like I mean onto the same scenario every organization has a particular plan that how they are going to manage resources and after that how they are going to manage how they are going to meet the demands of the, the customer towards the products or services which they are rendering. Okay let it be like Parleji. Parleji is a biscuit or if I talk about Britannia. Britannia is there how they are manufacturing how they are I mean managing their resources because managing resources is very important in order to make their product cost effective if if your product is cost effective then believe me your product is going to have a good advantage over the competitors logic being if your cost is like three rupees and you are selling it at five rupees and the competitors are able to manufacture it at four rupees then you are going to have an added advantage over the competitors so first of all everybody needs to plan that how they are going to be how they are going to manage their resources after that what is going to be the source how what is going to be the source means from where you are going to have your raw materials source for raw materials or if I talk about source for the goods and services which you are uh, which you are in particularly in need so to create your product if you are looking forward to create your product the product is a particularly a car then in order to uh, build that car or, or to manufacture that car what kind of goods or services you need and what kind of services you need particularly for them what kind of people you need what kind of suppliers you need what kind of services you need and that's all about selecting that but uh, appropriate supplier or if i talk about an audit in our uh, scenario then which person is going to be best in order to conduct audit for your organization and after that the next is make means manufacturing make means that yes you are going to manufacture now now you are going to have your products in such a way how many of you have seen the mother dairy factory must have not must have not seen so what happens generally in mother dairy the uh, the people the women from various villages they are going to uh, take out the milk from the buffalo or cow and after that they're going to deliver it to mother dairy early morning and after that what happens now here comes the production after that that particular milk is tested 
that whether it is suitable for our factory or not and after that they uh, that goes through a particular production process after production it is again tested and after that they, it is being packed in various packages of amul and that is being prepared for delivery right so that is all about because they are taking the products from a third party and after that that is being tested that is being tested that whether it fits our parameters or if it fits your parameters that's great sir. that's really great and after that what you are going to do you are going to move ahead towards the manufacturing part that will undergo the process of uh, whatever the process which you have decided in order to streamline as per your quality standards and after that the next is delivery delivery means the logistics part the logistics part now you are going to develop being like you need to have proper carriers you need to have proper delivery agents you need to have a proper distribution channel so that the goods can be delivered to the customers on time and delivery also includes receiving payments delivery plus receiving payments because everybody plus receive payments right and uh, receiving that means if the orders, uh, just like that, if I talk about somebody has delivered, if I talk about Domino's, Domino's, then they are going to uh, deliver the pizza at your doorstep and they are going to cross verify whether, whether the payment has been made in advance or not. If that is for cash or delivery, they are going to collect the payment first and after that they are going to deliver pizza. They cannot deliver pizza until unless the payment has been made. So it's all about just like that. It is just like that. We are going to coordinate the receipt of orders from the customer as well as as well as set up an invoicing system to receive payments and apart from that the next is return because every if i talk about any organization or any e-commerce website every website provides certain kind of details like if you are not satisfied with our product you can return that in next 30 days or anything like that just like we do also have a refund policy for every subject right now so just like that because that the problem the problem may be anything that a defective product has been delivered or the product has been delivered in excess and the customer is complaining that i want to uh, I, I don't want this product so let me tell you uh, you must have heard about this case that uh, there was a person who was a, pure, a purely vegetarian and by mistake by mistake a non veg pizza was delivered to his uh, at his home and he was pure brahmin so after that what happened that created a chaos for the company he sued him uh, he sued them to the court itself and he claimed compensation of being like i guess uh, more than uh, one crore rupees that was the compensation amount and uh, you must have uh, heard about a company which was named as fair and handsome there was a cream uh, a fairness cream for men fair and handsome so that was unable to stand upon the, whatever their commitments were that within three weeks you will be shining like a sun Right. After that, a person applied and he was unable to find those reasons and he claimed compensation. After that, Shah Rukh Khan was a brand ambassador at that point of time. And uh, everybody was being dragged into courts and the company was shut down particularly. So be ready for the returns which you are going to face because if, if I mean, the customers are going to make you king of the market and they can also make you like the beggars of the market. So it's all about the cost. If you, if your customer is being satisfied with you, na, so they are going to make you like king man king so sir you should not underestimate us that means yes my god my lord please please anytime anytime i am never under underestimating my students in any way so moving ahead moving ahead so uh, what is all about how we are going to develop this supply chain management see first of all what we need to have we, what we need to understand that every organization does have different kind of activities because it varies from a service provider to a goods manufacturer to a trading unit that what kind of uh, services which are over there that maybe if i if you are over there into a manufacturing part that involves involves the product designing part because one uh, the same uh, car cannot be designed by anybody sir so that happened that happened actually the par cars which are designed by maruti are taken over by uh, Toyota itself. Yes, that is due to Designs Act 2000. They have taken the particular design. Okay, anyways, anyways, moving on to next part, my dear students. So that means the development chain over here includes everything. The product, in fact, uh, the product part, or you can say the product activities, the product designing part. Apart from that, if I talk about that, how you are going to manage, what you are going to buy from, uh, you can say, 
source what is going to be your source what you are going to buy what kind of raw materials you are going to buy from the suppliers or else you are going to make or buy make or buy decision means you are going to manufacture your product or your own or you are going to buy it from somebody else and after that you are just going to deliver that that is that means you are not manufacturing anything at your end you are just doing you are just adopting the model which is adopted by maruti itself that you have just taken it from somebody and after that you are going to affix your brands affix your logo over there and you are going to deliver just like a lot of websites are doing these days they are taking up our lectures and after that they are going to deliver it in the so that is not a make model that is a buy model they have taken our lectures and after that they are going to sell it okay okay make or buy after that just like uh, they must have selected a crop i mean so many teachers out of so many teachers i have been selected for this particular subject so just like that we used to we are going to supply uh, select our suppliers supplier selection is going to be there right and apart from that we need to have a proper early supplier involvement because at any point of time if we are if we uh, let us suppose that if you are manufacturing 1000 goods on daily basis and all of a sudden you got like an order of like uh, uh, 10000 units and they need to be delivered in 7 days your capacity is this much you are uh, working now day and night and now you need raw materials now you need raw material you have all the time raw material of 3000 units in your time in your hand and it takes again 3 days so your uh, it's all about the supplier or you can say the raw material and uh, the raw material availability should, that should be made at an early stage because in business you cannot predict that what kind of orders we are going to get in future a company may have orders being like tesla a company may shut down like nokia or koda koda or koda cameras were there right so it's all about the early involvement from i mean you cannot predict future if somebody is going to say that yes i can predict future for 100% i'm sorry he is not right because in business we cannot predict like that what kind of orders we are how much we can grow in future or how much we can fall in future it's all about make or buy decision after that supplier and apart from that the strategic partnerships just like a lot of partnerships are over there you must have heard about vodafone idea partnerships sir that is a merger and amalgamation yes 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 we know i know about merger and amalgamation trust me i am a company secretary as well right so i know about merger and amalgamation that is into my blood so it's all about taking it's all about development and that development includes a lot of decisions that may be that may be any of them so what we have written about that is something which we are going to mark over here okay okay so and whatever the decisions whatever the decisions which you have made into your development chain is going to impact your supply chain okay i mean whatever the decisions which you are going to make that is going to impact your supply chain management okay got it understood now moving ahead now let's understand that how they are going to impact so if i talk about the plan or the design first of all you are going to have a particular plan then you have you are going to have your source and after that you are going to have produce that whether you are going to manufacture whether you are going to manufacture that means you are going to make or supply that means you are going to make supply means you are getting raw material supply and after that you are going to distribute or sell and apart from that do remember do remember that do remember that be ready for the returns as well sir you were talking about that yes if any kind of development chain decision any kind of development chain decision is what you have taken any decision made in development chain is going to have your decision on supply chain also right any decision made in development chain is going to impact the decision on supply chain also okay now what is development chain and what is supply chain see supply chain is all about manufacturing a particular product and delivering right over here if i talk about supply chain management what we have seen over here all the activities including sourcing procurement conversion and logistic management activities that means from manufacturing to delivery everything is over there in supply chain management but if i talk about the development part 
that means the research and development. The plan and design over here includes that what kind of product you are going to design, right? The design of your product. What kind of product you are going to design? What is going to be the design of your product? If I talk about there are n number of cars, n number of cars. How we can make our product different? Or after that, we are going to decide that what we are going to do, whether we are going to make or we are going to buy. That is plan. That is plan. That is something which you are going to decide over here. See, over here, you are going to have a particular plan. You are going to manage. You are going to have a strategy in your mind that I'm going to complete this subject in next 30 days, 40 days, 50 days. That is all about a particular strategy. So that is that strategy you are going to have over here. And early supplier involvement, that means you are going to have your suppliers over here only. You should be ready with your suppliers that yet at this point of time, we are going to start production or at this point of time, we are going to have our proper products being, being made, made ready by a third person. Now the next is source. Now you told us that yes, we are going to have a supplier. That how we are going to select supplier. Source means selection of supplier. See, the development part does not include, does not include the supply. But if I talk about that, what we are going to manufacture, let us say, let us say, so did you got it being like that this part particularly talks about the development chain. That means if you are talking about the planning stage or if you are talking about the selection of the supplier, that what kind of supplier contacts we are going to have. I mean, what kind of contracts you are going to have with the supplier or else you are going to make it on your own or else you are going to buy it from somewhere else or else what kind of a product is going to, uh, you are going to have, what kind of a product design you are going to have. Right. All these things are going to be a part of development change and starting from this part, this is going to be a part of your supply chain, uh, supply chain management. Right now. So is it true to say that whatever decision is being taken in development chain? Now, let me know if you are unable to understand, understand this. Whatever decision is being taken in development chain, this is going to impact my supply chain. Is it correct? Yes. How? How can you say that? Because if we have decided over here to make our own product, then we are over. We are going to select the produce part over here. If we have decided to buy, then only the supply and distribution part is going to be there. There will be nothing over here. No stage will be there named as production. Okay. Moving ahead. Talking about the next part. The next is global optimization. Now, uh, the next part is, the next part is, uh, this class is going to be really short today. So this can be well understood with a straight line, uh, you can say a statement. Is supply chain management successful in every organization or does supply chain management guarantees success? Does supply chain management gives you profit always? Is supply chain management effective always? No. Because still, see, if, if I talk about every product or every, every service, every organization has to move into certain kind of uncertain environments because none of us was prepared about Corona. These COVID cases, we were not prepared about that. Suddenly something hit our economy and it really, really went down. Well, so there are a lot of factors which are going to adversely impact our supply chain management. The very first is matching the supply and demand. It is again a very major challenge because we have seen a lot of companies, a lot of companies which have which went down just because of the raw material shortages, the raw material which was not available. Apart from that, we have still earned, we have still seen that yes, the inventories were not proper. The raw material, they have placed orders, but the raw material suppliers, they were unable to deliver on time or else the inventory was not proper. Apart from that, what happened? What was next? That apart from that, uh, what we have uh, seen that there are such, sometimes there are changes in inventories. So whenever you are going to change the inventory part, that means you must be manufacturing mobile phones earlier, but now you are manufacturing televisions. The inventory is going to be different. So that may, that may result in being like a slowdown in market itself. So, I mean, see, 
whenever we are talking about the demand the demand is not certain that is something which we need to understand the demand does not remain constant over a period of time the demand may fluctuate the demand is going to fluctuate every time so it's all about that how can you predict something which is going to happen in future so if i talk about myself how much i will be earning in my 50s i don't know man i don't know i don't know the next major challenge is inventory and back so whenever a customer demands for a specific goods let it be if i talk about the person who is having a shop at uh, in my society itself right in my society itself then in that issue, in that case if i am going to walk down straight away to him and up, uh, i'll tell them being like that i need like uh, 50 kg of sugar he won't be able to deliver that or if i talk about 500 kg of sugar he won't be able to deliver that because of because the order suddenly came right and we need proper we need proper fulfillment of the needs of customer or prompt fulfillment of needs of customer that cannot be done promptly logic being that orders are going to fluctuate the orders are going to fluctuate and the supply chain can the supply chain management can cater only a fixed demand at a particular point of time okay moving ahead my dear student and apart from that whenever you are going to talk about the forecasting forecasting does not solve the problem do understand this part forecasting is not always right is not always right it's all about predicting somebody being like that predicting like when sanman khan is going to get married we nobody knows that nobody knows that right so i mean it is just like that forecasting is not a particularly a principle on the basis of which any kind of decision can be made you can only predict something but you cannot be sure of that <clears throat> and apart from that demand is not only the source of uncertainty be because a, an organization may face failures may face losses due to manufacturing due to transportation due to non availability of inventory due to i mean uh, your delivery failure times if i talk about dominos they have to deliver within 30 minutes if they fail to deliver they are going to face losses and apart from that the recent trends whatever trends which are going to be there let it be on outsourcing just like we have a lot of bpos in india who are working and that is all about the particular business process has been outsourced into a different country which is going to lead to cost reduction so i mean that is all about there are a lot of recent trends which are going to take place over there okay okay got it understood now that's it we are done with this part my dear students named as supply chain management now moving ahead to another topic that is something which we are going to cover in the last in the next class room only for the time being bye bye take care of yourself and in case if you have any doubts please do let us know bye